Yep. Okay, so we're looking at ideas in E major and the concept here is that if we know the patterns of C minor, C sharp minor pentatonic, that's the relative minor, then we can actually use that knowledge because most people know most people know um, their most people know their their minor scales, their minor pentatonic scales really well. So for example, here's one of them. Which is basically the C sharp minor box pattern, I call it. C sharp minor pentatonic. So to get a major sound, it's good to be aware of where the major notes are. So the relative major, which is E. So there's one of them. There's another one. There's another one. Now here's a little. Here's a couple of licks you can use. So if you've got a backing track in the key of E major, for example, like this. Can start to use these ideas. So another idea I used there was this bend, and then I'm bar I'm bending on the G string eleven, full bend, and then I'm barring on twelve with my pinky and that's the sort of idea I'm using and I want you to come up with your own variations on these ideas but this one in particular and then another minor C sharp minor pentatonic scale um, <laughs> That. So again, I find the E notes, and I could do something like this, some double stop ideas. So if I put the backing track on again, um, I've got this sort of thing. come up with ideas um, just using those two little double stop shakes. So I've got four and five and then I'm hammering on to seven with my pinky. Um, and then the last idea um, uses this C sharp minor pentatonic scale. By the way, all these Patterns are also known as the E major pentatonic scale, but I'm referring to them as C sharp minor pentatonic because that's probably going to make more sense to more people. But it's time that you started thinking about E major pentatonic just by finding the the major notes in the C sharp minor pentatonic, um, because that then you know they're the root notes when we're playing over an E major backing track. Um, so here's an idea. Um, I'm also using one extra note. So here's the pattern. Now I'm using these three notes from the pattern, but I'm using one extra note that's not that's actually in the E major scale or the C sharp minor scale, but not the minor pentatonic or the major pentatonic. So this note here, that note there. Now what if I apply that? I'm going to come up with a lick, apply that to the, um, the backing track. So I've got. start to use in an in a E major backing track and use your knowledge of your minor pentatonic patterns to start soloing in a major key. Cool.